Hey, welcome back to another episode at night at Fringe. We're joined by uh, Fringe Royalty. Of course, you know him as Matt Hale, and we're very excited to have him here back at Nights at Fringe for the second season. Before we start, of course, Matt, you're going to have to do a quick 10 second sell to this camera. Okay. Uh, your job is to sell your show in 10, and you've got three, two, one, go. It is the antidote to 2020. I've built the most ridiculous, silliest, most biggest, most biggest mental escape from uh, 2020. Uh, it's the most joyous, happiest show. Come and see it. Whether you're in the audience or you're on the stage, you're gonna leave like, I feel amazing. Um, yeah, it's a lot of fun. New show for 2021, Ooh. Bonkers. Yes. Uh, what's the story behind it? <laughs> Each year this show gets sillier and more ridiculous. And it's become like a party because, you know, when once you walk in, the music's already going. In fact, last year I was actually DJing <laughs> as people walking in. I just wanted to kind of get, have that real kind of lift. Yeah, yeah. Um, it flows into the show, we get the audience involved. It's a, whether you're on the stage or not, you know, you're definitely a valuable part of the whole show. This year, I just want to amp it up. Because of what a crazy year 2020 was, let's go silliness to the max. And of course, uh, we've got you in, so we're gonna go um, into a bit of hypnosis. Actually, earlier on today, we, we talked through a couple of things. We actually got our producer uh, and our runner in, as well as Whiskey, um, to do a little bit of that. So of course we'll have a look at that and see how that went down. I think you're going to find interesting exactly what happened when you got hypnotised. <laughs> right, okay. I'm just going to pop you back into that nice relaxed state of mind you were in just a moment ago. So I want you to be comfortable, just so sit back there. Yeah. Take a deep breath in. And sleep now. All right now, loose limp, comfortable and relaxed, feeling absolutely wonderful in every way. You talk to a lot of performers, but how good would it be if you had your own show in Fringe World? And in fact, this is about to become true because when I get you to open your eyes this time, you're gonna tell me you have your own show. To you, you believe it is the most exciting, most thrilling show of Fringe. The title of that show is called David Walks Round in Circles. It's a whole hour of you walking around in circles on stage. You're gonna to explain to me how that works. To you, it's gonna be the most thrilling, most exciting show ever. Um, I'm gonna find that hard to believe, but you will sell that very nicely and hardly to me. One, two, eyes open. Fantastic, look, I, I'm, I'm really excited because I believe this is the year you've also stepped out and you've actually got your own show it's, as well. I feel it jealous that uh, we don't get to perform, so it's yeah. really nice to come to Fringe and perform this and year. And the title awesome. of your show was? Well, it's just David, David Walks Around in Circles, David which Walkham's. is awesome yeah. because well, I mean, the, the premise is so simple. Yeah, uh, and how's it exactly work? Like, well, for an audience yeah, member, yeah, if I'll I come just, to see I'll this, this show. Ads? Yeah. I'll just walk around with this, is that okay? Do we, yeah. So, so oh, sorry, this is my microphone because we're in this Yeah, room. okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, um, yeah. Well, I mean, do you want to join? I mean, essentially, it's just, yeah. it's this. Yeah. It's first. And then, yeah. Yeah. That. Yeah. Um, look, I have done a couple of like rehearsals, people have loved it. So, yeah. the idea is that, I mean, I could, like, it could do this. Yeah. <laughs> That's, or I mean, that would be another way of doing it. Do it this way. Yeah. That'd be great. And so, then sometimes the idea is that we go fast or slow, we'll get like, the audience yeah. up, and it's like it's pretty sweet. Yeah. The, idea, the idea behind it is it's just quite simple. The yeah. audience want to get involved, and like obviously if you're going fast, people are like, whoa, you're yeah. a party. <laughs> yeah. Or, yeah. So slow, 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 yeah. slow like, chill. Yeah, look, just yeah. walking around. Um, so? I, I, um, I mean, I spoiler alert, I heard there's a bit of a twist at the end. What's the twist? Can you tell me what the oh, twist is? Oh, literal twist. Yeah, yeah absolutely. So oh, obviously you're walking around. Twist. <laughs> you're like, <laughs> Oh. It's a literal twist. And you're like, yeah. whoa. Oh. And then we were like, whoa. Uh, yes, it's like a literal twist. You said it. You knew it. That's you obviously amazing. told you about it, Matt. Um, so yeah, look, it's only one night. Yep. Um, because you don't want to, you don't want to jinx it. You want to do it well mm. that first night only. I appreciate that. Sleep down, way down, loose limb, comfortable and relax. And let's give him a nice little round of applause oh. before we get there. <laughs> Matt, from what I'm hearing, I took a, um, a real step into the world there. What was <laughs> what went down? You were a really good subject. You, you were able to focus, use your imagination so much that, like I say, you know, it's about making a thought feel so real at that moment. And uh, I think that is exactly what we just saw there. As you know, you know, you're not in, you're not zombie. You're not in a different world. You know, I remember, I remember elements of it. Yeah. I, I just, yeah, I don't know. That, yeah, look, I can definitely recite where I was at with things, mm -hmm. but I also. I don't know if that makes sense, I can't at some, in some respects. Yeah, I think most people's common experience, uh, they'll say things like, hey, I was, I was kind of aware of what I was doing, I just didn't seem to question it at the time. So no matter how silly or normal something is, you know, normally you'd kind of go, yeah, why would I, you know, why would I not be able to speak, or why would I this or that? But you know, it just seems like, well, that's the normal and natural thing when I say, do this, feel like this, yeah. and you suddenly like, oh, I am feeling like this, so I'm doing this. 
So what about the people who are on the edge of coming, who are sort of thinking about coming, how are you going to sell it to them? I would just say, first of all, let them know it's a volunteers only show, because another misconception is people think, oh, I'm not going to sit at the front, he's going to pick on me. And that's the furthest thing. I only want people who want to be part of the show. Yeah. And we also have way too many people who want to get on stage than we actually have chairs every night. So it's a nice problem to have. It's an all ages show. Yes, the people on stage have to be 18 and over, but um, it's a show that is definitely uh, available to everybody to watch and enjoy. Matt, it's been a super interesting experience in having you here at Knights of Fringe, and we can catch you across the Fringe season, 15th of January, all the way yes. through to the 14th of Feb. Where can we catch you? Well, most of my shows will be at Girls' School, mm -hmm. and then I also do have some extra shows at Magic Nation at Metro City, uh, Rendezvous in Scarborough, uh, Coburn Gateway at Cirque du Coburn, and also up at Redmond Theatre towards June Club area. Jeez, Louise, yeah. you're a busy man. Busy, busy. Look, thank you so much once again for coming in, and look, it's always a pleasure when you're on the show. Um, uh, and yeah, have a, one, a wonderful fringe. Thanks so much for having me and also thanks so much for uh, being an absolute star today yourself. <laughs>